This is how South African's hidden talent sounds like. For many up-and-coming South African artists, Hollywood, Broadway or the New York fashion industry is just a fantasy. But one extraordinary woman in South Africa are busy changing that fantasy. Dalsa Peter Lange, well-known actress, devoted her life for the past two years to make the dreams and aspirations of ordinary South African artists a reality. With a passion for the entertainment industry and a passion for making artist dreams become reality, she invited Kim Mayers, an international scout, to come and experience the South African talent firsthand. I've always had a dream for South Africa to be placed on the map because I believed as a personal performer and actress and model that I have been, I have never had opportunity to perform on international soils. And I knew that one day I want to make it possible for the South African talent to take their talents international. Seems such a perfect place Suddenly goes with such a perfect place Suddenly my life doesn't seem such a waste The genre that we follow can as classical pop be described Under other words, the item that we do today is Come with me out of Moulin Rouge wat ons verwerk het met die type African feel, ons het Afrika percussie bijgewerk, so ja, ons is nogal opgewonden daar weer en ons sien baie uit. Ja, ons het met Andries Hendrik, potgitter, het ons contact gemaakt, ons het ook feeste saam met hom opgetree, en so het ons gehoor van die audities, en van die hele showcase wat in die gang is, en ingeskryf daarvoor, en ja, hier is ons vanaan. When I came here the first time, I really didn't know what to expect, but they completely blew my mind in their performances, and the anticipation of returning, of course, just continues to build. And I believe that South Africa has a unique passion that drives them to dreaming big, and the excitement of being here is that it's definitely playing right out on the stage tonight. showcase last year at Empress Palace and I got a call back from Kim Myers and both Tashrika and I participated with the arts in Orlando, Florida this year, June. Yeah. So it's quite exciting. Yes, very exciting. <laughs> <laughs> definitely has got it. There's something that we have as South Africans that's completely different and that is a humble heart and true passion. I believe that with the right training that we as an organization Just Do Modern Artists Management provides, we actually have a training studio and I fly the country after the auditions to train the students that are scouts and with all this training South Africa really has got what it takes to perform on international standard. Out of the top 11 monologues at the arts convention in June 2012, we actually took seven positions. So we definitely has, have what it takes. We actually won all three categories, junior, teen and adult dancing at the arts convention in Orlando, Florida. And um, from the modeling side, we won overall top um, photographic model, as well as overall um, teen fashion model.
I've been auditioning and scouting talent for about 20 years throughout the United States and into North America and Canada. And I'm excited about being here in South Africa, being able to audition new people, being able to find new passionate dancers, actors, singers, as well as models. So for a long time, going into my 20 years, it's very exciting to be here. second time and it seems very refreshing to see new faces and new talent. It doesn't get dull. It seems like the passion runs very deep here and it's very exciting to do say new faces. So we also offer a, a flavor of education of course at our particular showcase. Education is absolutely the key ingredient for success, we believe. It's a matter of opening doors um, through education and knowledge. Uh, edu education giving the balance, if you will, to the passion so that they can make wise choices. But it was only when Kim introduced the international talent back to the USA that she realized the real potential of the South Africans. The response was phenomenal. I was really actually not sure what the expectations would be from the agents and the casting's perspective. I was, it was an unknown venture, it's a journey that was actually very new and pioneering. But what I was really amazed at is the response from the, the general action of all the agents and the castings. So the opportunities came from scholarships to the New York Film Academy, to the New York Conservatory of Dramatic Arts. We had agents from Disney and all the major castings for film and television that came to me and not only nodded their head of approval, but they verbalized their support of my scouting in South Africa, which really built up the idea of coming back. And then some advice from those who already made the journey to the USA. There needs to be that passion from within you. Number one is the passion. And number two, get the training behind you, get the skills behind you, get people to help you and support you. Kim Myers, Elsa B. DeLange, you know, yeah. amazing people to work yeah. with, absolutely amazing people. Yeah. They open up so many doors for you, they opened yeah. up the doors for Magna and myself. So, I mean, we thankful, yeah. God's given us the talent, you know. We're just doing what we need to do and we love what we do, yeah. so, yeah. If I could add to that, I think another piece of advice is not only um, the arts and just you and just a good support system yeah. and also defend what you love, you know, if this is what you want to do, yeah. defend it because yeah. you're going to get people along the way who are going to tell you you're going to fail, who yeah. are going to tell you you're not good enough, but if you can stand up and tell them, you know what, I'm going to defend this, yeah. you've got it already. Yeah. Well, they need to contact the agency, which is just you, Model and Artist Management. We're on Facebook as well. And um, it's very important that they come through to our offices. If they're not in our offices, they need to make contact with us so that they can actually find out when will we be um, in the city closest to where they are actually situated. It's very rewarding because I'm one person that believes in people's talents and you know would want to see people moving on in life. And I've always had a passion for you know motivational speaking and making sure that people's talents and people's passions come out. So for me personally, it, it, it brings me such joy to see, you know, South African talent and not just only South African talent that are advantaged, but disadvantaged talent as well, getting to a point where, you know, each and every individual is equal. 